Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for coming. Before we attempt to answer anything, let's pray and ask God for wisdom. Our loving Father in heaven, we come to you as your children at your invitation. We need insight, Lord, to answer this question. Grant it to us, I pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, the first question and the only question for this uh, tonight is, Pastor Skeet, is it possible to live without sinning? Well, that's a very profound question. The simple answer is yes. It's not only is it possible, is it required? And the answer is yes. Now, can you do it in your own strength? The answer is a resounding thunderous no. Why did Jesus come? To show us what is possible in human flesh that holds on to divine power. Let me say that again. Jesus demonstrated in his life what is possible in the life of a human being when that person lays hold on and refuses to let go divine power. When Jacob wrestled with the angel, the angel said, let me go. That was Christ. And Jacob said, no, not except you bless me. And because he overcame, the Bible says, he overcame with man and with God. It is possible by holding on to God to live one day at a time without sinning. Let me ask you this, and I shall release you, Dr. Ellie, the next Surgeon General of the United States, Dr. Ellie Kim. Let me ask you this. Is it possible to live one day without sinning? Yes or no? Yes. If it is possible to do it for one day, it is possible to do it from now until God puts you in the grave, if he chooses to do that before he comes, because we are required to live what kind of lives? One day at a time. Now, you may find that funny. When God sent manna, Exodus 16, how much, did, how much manna did he send for Monday? Only enough for Monday. How much did he send for Wednesday? Only enough for Wednesday. That's God's lesson. Live one day at a time. Now, if you ask me, after smoking for 25 years, can you give up smoking for, another, for, for 50 years? I may say, no, are you crazy? But if you ask me, can I give it up for one day? Yes. Christians live too much for the future. We must live for today. And if we live for today, if we use the manner God gives us for today, and that's all he promises, today we will live victorious Christian lives. Somebody say amen. amen. The answer is yes. We, it not only can we live above sin by the power of Christ, we are required to live above sin.